Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this triangle ABC such that uh, these side lengths AD and this side length BD and this side length BC are equal. And moreover, this angle B is 60 degrees. And now we are going to find the value of this angle X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So before we proceed, let me go over this basic review pretty quick. Let's recall exterior angle theorem. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles. As you can see in this diagram, this angle X is our exterior angle and this is equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles alpha and beta. No wonder we put down x equals to alpha plus beta. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this triangle ABD. And we know that this is an isosceles triangle since this side leg equal to this side leg. So therefore, this angle is going to be equal to this angle. If I call this angle alpha, then this angle has got to be alpha as well. And now let's recall exterior angle theorem. As you can see over here, we can see that this angle D is our exterior angle. And that is going to be equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles. So therefore, this exterior angle is going to be alpha plus alpha equals to 2 alpha. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle BCD. And we can see that this is an isosceles triangle since this side length equal to this side length. So therefore, this angle X has got to be this angle 2 alpha. Therefore, I can equate these two angles. I can write 2 alpha equal to x. Let's divide both sides by 2. Alpha turns out to be x over 2. And now since alpha equals to x over 2, so therefore, I can replace this alpha by x over 2. And here's our final step. Let's focus on this triangle ABC. And now let's recall exterior angle theorem once again. And now we can see that this angle 60 degrees is our exterior angle. And that is equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles x and x over 2. So therefore, I can write x plus uh, x over 2 equal to 60 degrees. And now x plus x over 2 is same as 3x over 2 equal to 60 degrees. Let's go ahead and isolate x by multiplying by it's reciprocal two third on this side and two third on this side as well. So this two and two is gone. This three and three is gone. So X turns out to be this. We're going to multiply the top 60 times two divided by three. So therefore our X value turns out to be 40 degrees. So thus our angle X turns out to be 40 degrees and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.